Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is watching the tropics episode 8 where we're going over the latest in the Atlantic Ocean with a major new development and as well as in the Pacific Ocean with tropical storm Celia set to become a hurricane no later than the next couple of days. I'm going to give you the latest details on both of those and just to real quickly mention the lighting and whatnot is not going to be the best until at least next Tuesday. I'm on a bit of a trip so it's going to be like this and let's hop right into it though. As of right now we have tropical storm Celia. It is a a very well organized system in terms of thunderstorm activity and you just see all the bright whites and pinks those are very high cloud tops which are indicating very strong thunderstorms really in the center of this area again this is heading off to the west northwest this is just south of mexico and it'll continue that track over the next several days you can see here's the track from the national hurricane center as of right now as of right now the wind field again it's only about 55 or it's about 50 miles per hour in terms of sustained winds that will increase over the next 24 to 48 hours as early as saturday we might see this become a hurricane Hurricane. You can see it might become a hurricane right around then uh, before eventually going down to a storm and then eventually back down to a tropical depression sometime early next week. Now, this will not really impact many people. It will likely stay south of Mexico and as well as the peninsula, but it might bring an increased amount of waves and as well as if there's any cruise ships or anything like that in this area, it's definitely going to be a bit of a concern if you're in those areas. Here's a look at the tracks by the computer models. As of right now, most of them are bringing it right out to sea. None of them are really bringing it anywhere close to landfall, luckily. So we're not really looking at a situation where you really have to be concern if you're in the mexico area all right let's take a look at tropical celia's uh, intensity guide at this point again most computer models not really bring it much more beyond a tropical storm however the national hurricane center is forecasting maybe a low-end category one hurricane which i definitely do believe will happen you can definitely see that there's only one or maybe two computer models bringing it to that extent but i still do think that this will get enough intensity to maybe become maybe a, some sort of tropical uh high-end tropical storm or low-end hurricane all right here's a look at the atlantic tropics we have a brand new development right now out in the eastern atlantic ocean which actually might surprise many of you because it's it's not just early in the season but it's also there's been a lot of saharan dust especially across this area but we have a little bit of an opening back out to the east just off the coast of africa it has a 20 percent chance of development over the next uh, 48 hours it is a 40 percent chance of development within the next five days and it probably in my opinion has about a 70 percent chance of development within the next 10 days i really do think this will become something uh beyond what it is right now again it's just a tropical wave it is gonna be moving off to the west at about 15 miles per hour here's a look at the extended track over the next five days so it is forecasted to go toward the uh caribbean islands and whatnot probably within the next five to seven days here's a look at the saharan dust by the way you can see that there's just a massive opening here in terms of really no saharan dust now any of the yellows the reds the pinks those are representing here saharan dust so you can see there's a little area of that right now near florida and there's also a pretty large area of that all across really the uh, southern Atlantic and as well as off to the north of that and that is not really going to be a concern with this system specifically it will likely be staying away from that Saharan dust since most of the dust is moving either off to the west or off to the north so just keep that in mind all right let's take a look at the tropics and really the forecast to track of this so here's your little low pressure system at the very bottom of your screen this is again on Friday so basically today you can start to see it moves off to the west it starts to strengthen a little bit not speeds getting closer to about 30 to 35 maybe closer to 40 knots which is right around tropical depression if not very low end tropical storm levels now it has to be an organized system first off so we'll have to wait for that eventually moving out to the west into the western atlantic ocean and here's a look at that once it gets closer to the islands it's set to make landfall sometime around tuesday maybe wednesday again wind speeds as of right now being estimated around 40 now the gfs really blows this up as it enters into the caribbean ocean now if this were to occur we very well could see a category one hurricane or something along those lines you can start to see the wind speeds really start to ramp up as high as potentially you know 100 miles per hour by possibly saturday now again there's a lot in between now and then we just can't forecast those wind speeds accurately at this point they very well could really change or they could be on this level by that time but it's really like putting a plinko chip down a little plinko board of 14 and trying to guess you know a one in 14 chance basically it's a very inaccurate forecast if i were to give you an accurate wind speed but it very well could be a hurricane it could be a tropical storm it could be just a low pressure system there's just so much in between now and then that could happen here's what going into friday and saturday again it enters the caribbean ocean right now the gfs model bringing it towards the yucatan peninsula making landfall sometime next week not this week not really the next week the following week after that and eventually by wednesday or thursday of that next week so again around the 7th of july it might be making landfall in mexico but again there's just so much uncertainty i mean we very well could see this going to florida we could see it go toward you know the gulf coast we could see it go toward again the yucatan peninsula it could even go into south america i mean it's just such a large span area it even could go for bermuda i mean it's just so inaccurate to forecast at this point but it very well 
well could it does have the potential for becoming something fairly major if it was able to develop now we want to watch this pretty closely again the overall chances of it developing still only 40 percent over the next five days i'm forecasting those percentages to go up though as we get closer as more confidence starts to build on this system all right make sure to stay updated again with max velocity here on youtube make sure to subscribe and like i would appreciate it. again this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting all things repair and patriot safe rooms